Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper back in Moscow from vacation in the States and I wanted to do a video, I meant to do this while I was back in the States on this antenna tuner that I purchased that I used in my previous video about my bug out bag radio, the Yaesu FT817 the low power HF, VHF and UHF radio and the way I got those antennas to work in that video is I had to use this antenna tuner and this is an MFJ971 it's what they call a QRP or low power antenna tuner and I got it open here because when I purchased it I had to change some jumpers in there and I wanted to show you those jumpers that I changed from the manufacturer the needle scale is set to the 30 watt scale and the radio I have is a 5 watt radio so the manufacturer included an option to change jumpers to change the scale setting so I had to change this jumper here, just pull it out and plug it back into the other position, and this jumper back here, and that changed the scale reading from 30 watts to 6 watts, which is perfect for a 5 watt radio. And while I got this open, I'll show you some of the moving parts of this antenna tuner. This is what they call a T-network, and again this tuner is designed to tune antennas for high frequency only between 2 and 30 megahertz. And you have three knobs on the front. Uh, a capacitor adjustment for the transmitter, an induction switch, and then a capacitor knob for the antenna side of your transmission line system. So this inductor is a stepping switch, and what this switch does here is it rotates back here and selects these different taps on the coil, and that allows you to add or subtract inductance to your antenna system. You have a capacitor adjustment here for the transmitter side of your system and that changes that capacitor there if you can see that and then on the antenna side you have another capacitor and that changes that capacitor so you can add and subtract capacitance to your antenna system on the back side it's fairly simple you have an SO239 connector that goes to your transmitter there's a DC port if you want to connect uh, 12 volts so that run the meter on the lamp you have the antenna port, another SO239 connector. If you use ladder line, you have a post here for a ladder line. And then you have a ground post, or I'm sorry, a long wire post if you just run, want to run a wire. And then a, a wing nut here for connecting it to ground. So, anyway, just a short video on this tuner. This uh, worked out real well at the retreat location in West Virginia. And if you're looking at acquiring a low power QRP HF radio, for your communications plan. This is not a bad tuner. It's a, a good size, it's well built, and it seems to do the job. So as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper.